Hello, I'm Dr. Ragni Bielski, internal medicine and pediatric physician with Community Care Network. Today, I would like to discuss the importance of a good night's sleep and its role in our overall health. As the fall season approaches this year, many of us will be starting our school and work days in our pajamas, but that doesn't always mean we are well rested. With the increased amount of time being spent indoors and without structure to our days lately, some of us may actually be feeling more tired. One reason for this is that lack of structure can lead to poor sleep. Healthy sleep typically means getting uninterrupted sleep for at least 7 to 9 hours per 24 hours for adults, 8 to 10 for teenagers, and 9 to 12 hours for younger school-age children. When our bodies don't get proper rest, we might think a little coffee will do the trick. But the truth is, consistently having poor, unrefreshing sleep can be very dangerous for long-term health. Studies have shown that adults who do not sleep well are more likely to suffer from obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and depression. There is also reason to believe that children with poor sleep habits suffer from low school performance and may be more likely to develop serious medical problems as adults. Lastly is the fact that COVID-19 has hit hardest those with obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, all of which have links to poor sleep. Thus, getting consistently good rest may be more important than we realize. Here are 10 healthy sleep tips to remember, especially when working and schooling from home. Number one, if you routinely struggle with sleep, speak to your doctor right away as you may have a sleep condition such as sleep apnea, insomnia, or restless legs. Number two, make sure you try to wake up and go to sleep at the same time every day. Having a pattern is important, especially for school-age children. Number three, even when working from home, make sure to take a shower, put on fresh clothes, and eat breakfast every day to help your body separate day from night. Four, avoid working, studying in your bedroom. Your bed should only be associated with sleep. Five, Avoid large meals, alcohol, and caffeinated beverages before bedtime. Six, at the end of your day, make sure you avoid staring at a phone, TV, iPad, or computer screen at least 30 minutes before bed. Seven, make sure your bedroom is quiet, dark, and a slightly cool temperature at night. Number eight, avoid watching the news or reading any stressful information before bedtime. Try to meditate, take a bath, or read something positive and uplifting instead. 9. If you can't fall asleep after 20 minutes, get out of bed and do a quiet activity until you feel sleepy, such as read a book. And 10. Teenagers need more sleep than adults. Try to allow your teen to sleep in a little in the morning so that they are getting 8-10 to 10 hours of sleep. Do not force your teens to wake up too early if their schooling allows them to start later in the day. If they must wake up early, make sure they try to sleep early as well so they can get their full recommended sleep. If you would like more healthy sleep tips, please go to cdc.gov forward slash sleep for more resources or talk to your primary care doctor. We're here for you. Sweet dreams.